who else is joining us here? Someone else just got here. Death Merc's been here. Alex! Alex, welcome in, sir. There you are. See? I saw you sneak in there. Alex, welcome in. Again, thank you, Kremit, for the reef sub. And Retro Gamer, hope maybe in the next stream of it will be better. You never know. You never know, sir. Let's get started. Let's get it going. Oh, here we go. All right, we're playing. All right, so you control the kid, and I understand that you feed the blob jelly beans and it turns into different stuff, but I don't remember what all the stuff is. I looked at the manual of this before I started, before the stream today in case I had time to play this, and the manual doesn't explain a whole lot. But what I remember reading in a magazine, too, back in the day when I was trying to play this, is that you have to go underground, and you have to get a bunch of treasures and stuff, and you turn them into this store over here, and at the store, they sell you like some kind of special jelly beans that that you need to get through the, the other world. You can fly to the other world. So I know bits and pieces of this game, but I've never been able to like make any real progress with it. And that's what's going to try and change today. Tiki Dude, welcome in. How's it going today? Hope you're having a good day. Blobber reminds me of the stuff, or maybe Gloop and Gleep. Blob, this is a fascinating character, is it not? <laughs> this is a pretty innovative game for its time. You test each jelly bean, see what they do? Yeah, I probably should. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Let's see what everything is. Catch up. Well, you didn't eat it. Why, why, what's the problem? Eat it! Oh, you will eat that one, but not the ketchup one. A hole. Oh, punch a hole. I get it. <laughs> Niff, I don't know how to play it. What, what do you want me to do? Watch a video before I play it? <laughs> what do you want me to do? Licorice uh, makes a ladder. Okay, good. See, the, the, we got to find out what all this crap does. We gotta find out everything. I know bits and pieces from when I played it when I was like 12. I don't, and I didn't get, like I said, I didn't get anywhere. What's Strawberry do? A bridge, okay, that will clearly do nothing here. All right, you hit B to whistle and that changes them back to regular form. Coconut, let's see what that does. Let's see if we'll eat that. That's kind of neat. I wonder if you can kill enemies and stuff with that. Cola! Eat it! Oh, what the? I want it's like a shield or something. I can control this, by the way. I wonder if that's like a shield or something that protects you. I don't know. Probably not a good time to mention this, but this is a kitchen game. Yeah, it's an additional design by Gary Kitchen. Main design by David Crane. So that's fine. David Crane did Pitfall, so I'm good with him. All right, Cinnamon. We're trying to figure this out. Cinnamon does a blowtorch. All right, I totally saw that coming. There was nothing like this in 1989, even if it's hard to figure out. So this is unique. That's why I'm appreciative of this game. This is unique. This is not something like another another just platformer, shoot the bad guys, go to the right, all that. I like those kind of games, but it's also fun to check out stuff like this as well. Especially since I played this as a kid and didn't get anywhere with it, and I really wanted to figure it out. Apple. Applejack, like the cereal. Am I right? Applejack cereal? Wolf, welcome back. XP, welcome in. How you guys doing? Yeah, Applejacks, like the cereal. I know my stuff. <laughs> YGY, welcome in. <laughs> how are we gonna make use of all this shit? I don't know, I don't know how we're even gonna use it. All right, vanilla. Let's see what that does. That makes an umbrella. All right, so if it's raining, we know who to call. Vanilla. All right. Let's keep trying stuff. Tangerine. I vaguely remember some of this. A trampoline. That's the smallest 
trampoline I've ever seen in my life. It's freaking tiny. Pookums, welcome in. You hadn't seen this in a while? I played it very vaguely as a kid, very, a little bit. I didn't really make much progress. I didn't really know what I was doing, so I've always wanted to like try and figure it all out, and after finishing the Mario hat, okay, if you hold up, you can bounce higher. I wonder how high you can bounce. I'm just holding up on the D-pad. Pretty high. <laughs> wow. Wow. I made a lot of friends eating Apple Jacks. I haven't had Apple Jacks since like 1989 or something. It's magical watching Mixer discover this game. This, it, I've been looking forward to trying this out for a while now. Dude, how oh, Good lord. How far does this go? XP, hope you're having a good day. God, look how high up you can bounce. It's kind of awesome. Has this got falling damage? Can you move left or right here? You can. Okay. What if this has got falling damage? <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> okay, so if you fall too far, you die. <laughs> oh, great. Something else to put up with. All right. Root beer. Barks root beer. This ought to be good, right? A rocket. Oh, this is how you get to other worlds. See, I remember this. I remember this. How is the kid breathing in space? How is this happening? This is unrealistic. I don't like it. Dig Dug, welcome in. Tara, welcome in. Dokshi, welcome in. How you guys doing today? The boy can't survive a hundred foot drop, but he can fly through space on a rocket with nothing. Yeah, nah, cool. That makes perfect sense. Thank you. Honey. You didn't eat it. You're supposed to eat it. Oh, a bird. Oh, beautiful. What's that do? Attack enemies? That attacks enemies, clearly. I don't know what it's for. I don't think you're supposed to be here yet. I remember getting here as a kid and I couldn't do anything. Yeah, that's about how far I made it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, see, I don't think... Maybe we don't have, like... Maybe you can kill him with the blowtorch. I don't know. Let's try some stuff. I don't want to have a bird out, though. What are these marshmallows? That's what they look like. No roast marshmallows? Not doing anything. Well, see, this is about how far I made it as a kid. I don't know. Oh! Oh, I got it! I got it! I think I know. Hold up. We have a thing that puts a shield up. What was that? Cola? Hold everything. And this is where I turned it off and took it back to the store. Lord Awesome. I know, me too. I didn't know what to do. I still don't know what to do. Ryan Walker, welcome in. How's it going, Ryan? Good to have you here. This is not going very well. I don't like this either. Like, you try and you can't stop on a dime. The kid's like skids. See that? You can't just stop on the spot. He skid, like, yeah, that's awful. Is there a way to, like, not skid? Maybe you're just supposed to run past these or something. Maybe that's doable. That's going to be hard to do. Oh, the controls are kind of slippery. Okay, we're fine. Oh, I'm back here again! Oh, never mind. We're here. Oh, it despawned the ones on the previous screen. That's kind of cool. Oh my god! Oh, what, what? Just keep going. WHAT?! How, what happened?! I don't know what happened. It like there was like 
an earthquake and there was like a flash or something. I don't know. Game over. All right, how many continues do we have? Hopefully like three or something. Or none. <laughs> none! Oh my god, all right, so no continues at all. It goes back to title screen. Holy shit, all right. Well, uh-oh. <laughs> well, no continues. Hamster pen, welcome in. How you doing today? I guess we're going, yep, back to the beginning. Oh, son of a bitch, all right, well. <laughs> Let's start figuring it out. But like I said, what I remember reading in a magazine and trying to do as a kid, you go into like underground and like you can find treasures and stuff. And apparently that's what you're supposed to do to like buy items at that store up there that will get you what you need. Something, but I never made it that far. That's kind of what I got from the magazine. I chose Zombies Ain't My Neighbors. I chose wisely. It's kind of looking that way. It's the king of jank from what I saw. What <laughs> Jax is not looking good early at all. Kid Zero, welcome in. March 21st is right around the corner. What's March 21st? I know March 10th is Mario Day. No jank here. I, I don't know if I could figure out how to play it. All right, so like, maybe I could drop down to the floor below me. What was hole? Was it punch? This is goes down to the next like. I'm fig- See? See? I'm figuring it out! And now we can use a ladder to get that stuff. And... Okay. See, now I'm- Why is the- Did he not eat it? I don't understand why he didn't eat it. Death by Flicker? I don't even know what that was. I'm gonna have to look at that again later. AVGN reviewed this? Uh, that's not a good sign at all. <laughs> Not at all. March 21st, 97. This game marks 27th anniversary of Universally Praise Classic Blast Core. Oh. Well, I could have done without knowing that. Mixer's learning. I am. I, we're making some progress. We're on the next floor below. All right, there's nowhere to go there. It's like a park. What are we in? Like a parking garage? This is like, I don't even know where we're trying to... Okay, so... That says Gary and Sue Baby. Oh, there's graffiti on the subway. Simpson Swamp Thing sound effects. Yeah, it's got some of that Dan Kitchen stuff, Jax. Gary Kitchen made this. Time to make a map? I might have to. <laughs> there's no in-game map or anything, is there? I don't think there is. All right, I guess we can go through the floor. There's nowhere else to go here. Well, this is going awesome. This is going really good. All right. Uh, maybe the next screen over? I don't even know where to start. Nikki, welcome in. I love watching this so very much. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Nikki, welcome in. Jessica, welcome in. Hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> I'm not doing well. <laughs> what in the hell is this? Like, this is about as far as I made it as a kid. I only, like, read what you were supposed to do. I never actually did anything. I remember as a kid, I had no patience to figure anything this out either. Just play it for 10 minutes, get mad and quit. That was it. That was it, Kremit. That was me, too. AVGen took a dump on Goonies, too. I like his videos, but I'm not worried too much if he doesn't like something. That's true. He doesn't hate everything he looks at. You lose weight, make sure you look slimmer. No, I'm the same. Uh, I'm six foot one. I weigh about 190. And I've been this way for, like... I don't know, like six or seven years now. Probably longer than that. But yeah, my weight has not changed in years. But I'm 6'1", 190 if you're wondering what size I am. Been that way for quite some time. I'm, I'm comfortable with the size. But no, I'm no different. Having no enemies makes this really fun. All right, let's try and drop down here.
What do you want from me, game? What do you want me to do? I'm just going into a chasm. <laughs> you think you want to play this, Jessica? Good, play it. Nikki, hope you're having a great day. Welcome in. Good to see you, Jessica. Hope you're doing well. I like the idea of dropping this kid down holes and killing him to explore. It's going to be die to learn. I'm just going to keep going in holes until we find something. Oh, I didn't die! Oh, we need... <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there's a monster down there. All right, well, uh, let's try something to fight it or something. I don't know. It's like blow the screen. This is die to learn, dude. I'm six one. Yeah, I'm six foot one, about one ninety. I haven't changed sizes in like freaking forever. Uh, what do we have to? F oh wait, where's the blob? What? What was that? Bullshit! It stayed in whole form! <laughs> I thought it was supposed to like change back! <laughs> God! <laughs> this is a troll fest so far. Alright, like, really? What are you supposed to be doing? All right, let's try it again. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to move out of the way. All right, let's move over here. All right, it, I actually made it down somewhere. Okay, now what do we use to fight this thing with? I have a blowtorch, is that gonna work? Let's try it. Uh, what was the blowtorch? Cinnamon. All right, it's like a worm jumping back. It's like a centipede or something. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> okay, we'll try something else. Something's gonna work. Quinn, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Quinn W. Good to have you here, man. Thank you for the follow. Good to have you aboard. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing right now at all. <laughs> Trying to get good. This is the ultimate example of die to learn I have ever seen in my life. Maybe coconut? We'll throw the coconut at him. Maybe, no, 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 let's try the bird. Maybe the bird will go after him. Do something. Get him! Okay, the bird doesn't do anything. Can I run under this? Maybe I can just run under this thing run under it. You don't even have to fight it. Okay. Well, that's nice. That's really nice. Oh! Oh! oh wait! What? <laughs> oh my god! Alright, let's go again. At least I know how to get back to that point. Baby steps, right? Let's go. Let's go! I didn't die. I didn't. Well, for like half a second, I didn't die. All right. Well, at least I know what screen to drop down onto now. At least there's that, right? All right. Drop down here. Call the blob over. Get the licorice on. Get the money. Small boy dies jumping off cliff with blob. But why is this kid even doing this? Where's like, where's everyone else? Where's like adults or something? Why is it up to this kid? Does the boy have a name? Uh, what do you want to call him? How about Kevin? This has been a very surprising game thus far. <laughs> this is about how far I made it to. I, I completely get it. All right, hole punch. That's honey. God damn it. This is going to take freaking forever to figure this whole game out. I wonder how long this game is. And there's no continues on top of all this other crap going on. All right, drop down treasure, go under the monster. Alright, see, and now we're already back to where we were. TR, I don't know what that means. What is TR? Alright, I'm gonna die if I drop down there? Alright, what if we try using punch here? Oh, 
how am I supposed to get down there, man? What, what do I have that'll work? A bridge isn't gonna work, there's a wall over there. Coconut, no, co oh, 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 wait, 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 slow everything down. Yeah, just call him Kevin, that'll work. TR, total recall. Kevin works, that'll work. Is that part of the background? to a spider web with no spider in it! I thought that was part of the background! <laughs> well, now what? The bird? I, I don't know what to try. Try the bird. Maybe it'll eat the spider web. Bird's not doing shit. God damn it! Uncle Nev, welcome in. It's sticky. I don't care if it's sticky. Just pull it down. Yellow Freeze, welcome in. Are those sound effects from Bart vs. Space Mutant? She regrettably so. Yes, you are correct. This is going like absolute garbage right now, but we're making some progress. I know how to get down the cliff now. All right, ladder's not going to help. Bridge isn't going to help. Strawberry's bridge or something. Cola... We go, we go through the. Oh, oh, hold up, hold up. I do have a blowtorch. We can try that. Let's try this. It's going to be trial and error. Now we have falling rocks. Now we have falling rocks. What's going to help for that? Cola? I, my bubble shield? K fight, what's going on? Don't let me down. I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm just trying to figure things out. Starting to click. Starting to click. I'll find you a boy in his blob rom hack and get me one. I'm figuring it out little by little. I am. Things are starting to happen. Is this Dan Kitchen's doing? Anthony, welcome in. Yeah, it's actually Gary Kitchen. I don't remember what the bridge was. Was it strawberry? Would this even work? Is this a bridge too far? Is the blob even anywhere near it? Like, dude, I have like a million questions. He didn't even eat the ketchup when I couldn't figure out what that did. fall that far. Yes, I can. Dude. Ooh. How am I, am I supposed to get that? I wonder, oh, I could get it with a trampoline, but then I'm just gonna die if I get that with a trampoline. And I don't know how far down I can fall here. Alright, let's make a hole, like, right on the edge. Move over. Alright, there! Perfect! Alright. It's not gonna change much, is it? I could just drop off the ledge. This does. All right, we're making progress. All right, what was the trampoline? Vanilla. I think that was the trampoline. What's up, Fang? Welcome in, man. How you doing today? Look, look, I'm starting to get. That was not it. That was umbrella. All right, I don't remember. It's tangerine. I, I don't remember. <laughs> We're figuring it out, though. Things are starting see, if I run out of lives again, we can be back down here in, like, no time, because I know exactly how to get through all those parts. Boy smashes his head into a rock ceiling. Is that going to kill me? No, it's not. Okay. All right, if you press down on the D-pad, can I, like... Oh, you can... Oh, that's cool. All right. 
All right, so you can control it by holding down as well. All right, we could just use a hole punch and just skip that. We can just go like this. Throw it in his mouth, stupid kid. You missed. All right, so drop down here. Drop this over. Strawberry. Get it on Strawberry because we're going to build a bridge. No, not that way! Wait, 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 wait. How did I... How did that happen? I threw it the wrong way, but uh, never mind that. Hold up. Let me try something here. Dude, you can drop a jelly bean to the next screen and see what's below you. That's freaking awesome. I just did that by accident. <laughs> wow, that's awesome, actually. That Wow, I'm going to really be able to use that. Because now I don't have to like drop down a hole and not know what's going to be down there. All right, let's get that. All right, I don't know if I can survive this fall. That's the problem. I'm gonna try it. Oh, I made it. Oh my God. All right, that's a dead end. Oh my God, I'm not gonna have to punch to the floor again. Dude, we're starting to get somewhere. Crappy beans are great for that. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing that now. All right, can I use my ladder here and climb up to the next floor? Dude, we're starting to, things are starting to click a little bit, man. You can drop a jelly bean down a blob hole. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I would need to try that. I, I think I'll give that a shot. Make the blob into a hole and then drop a jelly bean down the blob. Yeah, it, it might work. I'm going to try it. Progress is happening. This is cool. See, once you start learning, it, it feels like you're, you're able to get somewhere with this. All right, th this was just for some treasure, but... All right, so maybe I could... Put my... I keep forgetting which one is the freaking, uh... It's not van... It's Tangerine makes the trampoline. One moment discovering Jelly Bean Pits is better than the entire Mario 2 ROM hack. No, it was not. The Mario 2 ROM hack was awesome. Oh, there's nothing up here. Okay, so it's a dead end. Alright, that's fine. I like the Mario 2 ROM hack. It was great. Especially playing as Peach. Retro Bunny, welcome in. How's it going today? Boy, gonna be rich? I know, I just retire at this point. I'd be like, ah, I'm done. I don't know what the mission is and I don't care. I ma I've made a lot of money and that's all that matters, right? It's just money, nothing else matters in life. No, not really. Retro Bunny, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. Have you beaten this game? You played it, it seems, but have you beaten it? <laughs> I bet a lot of people haven't even bothered to try and beat this. This, this. Oh my God, throw it in his mouth, you idiotic kid. There you go. I guess you gotta get closer. Alright, can we drop a jelly bean down the hole and see what's down there? That'd be great if I could. You can't do that. Let's try a different flavor. Licorice. No. Great. You were so lost. Alright. Well, that doesn't help. I was hoping you would have beaten it. And then be like, oh, Mixer, it's not all that bad, is it? <laughs> It doesn't even have any, like, uh, continues. You run out of lives, you're dead. All right, I guess we're just going to drop down and hope for the best because there's nowhere else to go here. And I lived, all right. I actually lived. Holy crap. If you're moving in a direction, you throw the jelly bean further. Oh, let me try that. I should have tried that earlier. I think that's in the manual, actually. Yeah, that's in the manual. Now that I come to think about it, that is in the manual. Okay, that's good. Retro gamer, considering how much you love Pugsley Scavenger Hunt, what, what do you want me to play? Why not try hard mode? No, I don't think I'm going to do that. That's not going to happen. All right, so the blob is with me again. Where are we going? How about over here? Okay, we can keep going that way. Could you keep going the other way? I'm, I'm, I should have been drawing a map of this. <laughs> That's what I should have been doing because I don't know how to get back to this by this point. All right, uh, we can drop a jelly bean off the platform and see what's down there. Water. Oh, great. What is this, pitfall now? All right, I can drop down to here, but I, don't I can't turn him into a boat. I can't. I don't have a boat. How long is the bridge? Let's see if we can make a bridge like all the way across this. I bet this won't work. I'm willing to try it, though. All right, make a bridge. Okay, that's clearly the wrong answer. Uh, I wonder if my cola shield will actually let me go through the water. I bet you die if you jump in the water normally. Let's try this. It's a bubble. It should go in the water. Am I right? It does. Okay. Okay, well, I can go in the water now. 
Guess what else floats on water? Jelly beans, right? I remember wanting this game so bad as a kid that I finally got like five years ago. I was like, mm, I'm not missing out. <laughs> oh, you can't go any further. Oh, crap. I totally understand what you're saying with that. Because, see, Retro Bunny, I rented this as a kid, and I didn't even make it this far. This is further than I've ever seen in this game. So you can't go any further there. So what are you supposed to do at this point? Maybe there was a link somewhere else I could go? Can I go down here? No. All right, no, I guess you can't go this way. I guess it's just a dead end. I don't know, but at least I know how to get in the water now. The bubble works for a lot of stuff. The bubble lets you fall long distances. The bubble blocks uh, boulders that are falling, and the bubble lets you go through the water. So the cola bubble is really nice. We're making some progress. Now, I know, I got 200 IQ. The bubble goes in the water. That's amazing, right? Poop floats on water, too. I was going to say jelly beans, but that'll work. Oh, I was going to say, is it going to let me out of the water? Okay. Okay, so to get back up there, maybe I can use licorice? We'll try. You're supposed to use a super shotgun. This is not Doom. This is not old school Doom. That has a super shotgun. That's the best weapon in the game, honestly. Doom 2? That's the best weapon in the game. Efficient uh, cost of ammo and stupid amounts of damage. Is there a sweet tea flavor? If there was, the blob would die instantly, Goobs. He would just keel over and be dead. And then the kid would be like, Oh, I shouldn't have given him that. That was sweet tea. We can't have any of that shit around here. What's up, Goobs? Welcome in. Surprised the spike doesn't kill me? I'm, I'm kind of shocked at that, too, honestly. Oh, great. How am I going to do this? What's below? Let's find out what's below me first. Water. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, see, that's why you don't just jump down there. All right, so let's um, put them in a bubble. Let's jump down in the water. Doom 2 Super Shotguns, a joy. It's my favorite weapon. I used to kill my friend in high school with that all the time. Super Shotguns are one of the best weapons in any game it is. It's so good. It's, like, stupidly good. You can go down. Oh, gosh. I, I don't know where to go anywhere in here. All right, so you can go right. Okay, if I go right, I'm assuming it's going to loop back to where those the slag type, the stalagmite were, and we're not going to be able to go any further from that. Let's check it just to make sure. That and my baby girl, the chainsaw. You want to use the chainsaw from ammo preservation for sure. I remember doing that anytime I fought demons or anything. Gunpowder jelly bean. Yeah, that'll turn them into shotgun for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it would be cool if that popped up. I think I might have rented this and I played at a friend's house as a kid. It's really interesting to see real exploration happening. I'm, Yeah, I'm fascinated right now. I really want to keep playing this until we beat it because I'm, I'm feeling like I'm starting to figure it out a little bit. And like once you know like the basics, maybe it'll get easier and stuff. Right, This water section is like huge. It's massive. Like, how are you supposed to know? <laughs> how are you supposed to know? All right, well, don't be near the ceiling. All right, maybe stay near the bottom of the ocean or the underground lake floor. Let's try that. You saw that coming. <laughs> I bet you did. All right, let's try and stay like not uh, okay. Try and stay maybe in the more towards the middle. Yeah, okay. That was really mean the way they did that. Oh, 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 oh! oh they put treasure in the middle of that. Yeah, right, right. Okay. Wonder if I could get it. Who thinks I can get this? <laughs> I'm not going for that again. Screw that. Screw that. We're not doing that again. All right, I need to go back in the water because I don't know what else is down there. <laughs> I'm not even going to try that. That's ridiculous. The bubble popping noise is kind of funny. I like that. I was close. Right? Yeah, this is a die to learn game for sure. It's like freaking battle toads on a first playthrough. You know, die. A chocolate doom server, by the way, up 24 7. What's that like? Chocolate doom? I love old school Doom, like Doom 1 and 2, and then they, Doom 3 came out, and I, I didn't care by that point. And then they, it was like Doom 2016, I didn't really like that either. 
So I like it's like old school or bust for me. Really enjoyed Ren's playthrough of this. I caught the very tail end of that. And he used a key or something. That's what I remember seeing. No life. I remember him using a key, which I don't have a key. We found treasure, by the way. This was good. But I remember him using a key to do something. This was like a year or so ago. It was a long time ago. I didn't see like the full playthrough, though. I got there too late. He beat it in like one stream. But I don't think he spent a ton of time with it. If I could figure this out, maybe we could get through it today. I don't know. All right, we're getting a lot of treasure. I hope that'll let us buy things we need. I know, so many diamonds. Chocolate Doom's Vanilla Doom engine, but uses TCP IP instead of IPX, which you might not remember. I kind of remember that. It sounds kind of familiar. It's been a long time. <laughs> I remember used to playing like over the modem with like Deathmatch with my friend. You, you, It took up the phone line. She had like a 14.4 baud modem. And I remember doing that, and my friend and I would eat up our parents' phone lines to play Doom, and it was so much fun. But usually his mom or my mom would want to use the phone, and then the Doom game would end. And it was really sad because it was fun, but we couldn't keep going because of the phone line stuff. Thankfully, those days of internet... <gasps> Jesus Christ, man. Okay, I did not die because I'm learning to say in the middle of the screen. There's nothing down to the left, and down to the right, there's treasure to pick up. So we're getting there. GZ Doom is source uh, port of choice. I have no idea if it's good for multiplayer. I think it is, Goose, because I tried it like 12 or 13 years ago or something, and I found a way to play some multiplayer. I don't know if it's still active, though, but I was playing some. I uh, played some SNES, Carmen San Diego, came back to Mixer playing yet another Dan Kitchen game. No, this is David Crane. This game's way better than any Dan Kitchen stuff. David Crane was a developer of this. This guy did a uh, Pitfall, Pitfall 1 and 2, which I, re I really like. I had those games for Atari as a kid back in the day. AOL, so bad, I hope it goes out of business. Is it still in business? I don't even know. Oh my god! <laughs> that was really close! Alright, I have no lives left, by the way, but we have made significant progress. So, like, the next run, I'm gonna get a lot further. I should probably be able to get here deathless. And then we'll have all our lives and we'll work through it. GZ Doom or something? To, yeah, GZ Doom is like an updated version of it or whatever. That's compatible with, like, modern systems. Alright, that's where I was earlier. We made it all the way over here. That's really good. Cinnamon, no. Vanilla. That, I haven't found the use for the umbrella yet. I wonder if the umbrella has something to do with, like, the you could block the bolt. No, you can block boulders on an umbrella. But I wonder if that, like, slows your falling or something, too. So there's just, like, an, a lot of options here. All right, tangerine. That's my, uh... Th that's this. So I don't see anywhere else to go here except going up. Because I see a plat. Oh! Oh! Oh, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, now how do I get the blob up here? Use the bird? I bet I could get him with the bird. Alright, this ought to work. Oh, he's still a trampoline. Hold on. <laughs> I, I think switching him back might work. Some people probably still have dial up. Yeah, I think they do, honestly. Alright, the bird should. Dude, we can use the bird. Oh! Nice! Alright, cool. What's this? Jelly beans. Alright, that's more stuff. Yeah, I think that added more stuff. Okay, that's good. That's what we needed. More jelly beans. Alright, so there is a limited number of everything here, so we can run out. You feed your blob of blue raspberry jelly bean, it will turn into air bud. Oh, I don't think we want air bud to show up, but it could be wrong. Found out about the ketchup bean does, but I'll never tell. It did, he wouldn't eat it. I was trying to feed him a ketchup jelly bean. He didn't eat it. He just like stood there and it like fell on the ground. I didn't. Dude, am I really supposed to get in there? <laughs> am I really supposed to squeeze through that tiny little spot? There's no way. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna fall and I'm gonna die. Or the girl from Willy Wonka. Oh gosh. This is gonna be Charlie and the Chocolate Factory now. All right, maybe we can go somewhere over here. Would you eat a ketchup jelly bean? Sounds better than licorice. Licorice sounds awful. I've never tried one. I don't know. Maybe it's good. Give the blob a sweet tea jelly bean? No. That would be the worst. Ketchup sounds better than sweet tea. Okay, you can't go that way. You can't go that way either. By the way, it's going to be hard for me to get back to this point because I haven't memorized anything. And I didn't draw a map. 
Okay, is this fall gonna kill me? Please don't. Okay, you can fall like a full screen and not die. That's good. All right, uh, back to... Dude, we're actually making some progress here. I, this is further than I've ever been in this game by far. I'm not a fan of black licorice or anything. I'm not either. It doesn't taste very good. It's like weird. So awful it makes you turn into a ladder. <laughs> if only, right? You ever had a buttered popcorn jelly bean? Nastiest thing ever. Buttered popcorn jelly bean. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Sounds awful. I don't think I'm going to make that. I don't think I'm going to make that. We need to move over a little bit. Do you even know what a jelly bean is? Yeah, I know what a jelly bean is. I know what that is. It's a kind of candy. <laughs> That's right. It's a kind of candy. That's all you need to know. Steve Machine, welcome in. Black licorice is my favorite candy. See, one man's trash is another man's treasure. That's why opinions are on like whether something is good or not. It's kind of irrelevant because someone's going to be right. Someone's going to be wrong. Everyone's going to be right and wrong. Jelly beans are outlawed in Alabama. Don't give them any ideas now for that might happen. Oh, my God, I made it. <laughs> oh, my God, I actually made it. Okay, let's get them the, this. That's not even going to come close, is it? That's a miss. That's a freaking miss. All right, he'll move over and hopefully he'll go bird. What's the sweet tea is good? Am I right? Well, I'd like to say you're wrong, but technically you're not, goobs. We need ranch dressing jelly beans for mudding. Less messy than drinking ranch dressing while mudding. All right, now we're just going off into a horrible place. Rob, how could you say that? That might be worse than freaking sweet tea and raw tomatoes. How bad could we make it? At least I can get the bird up here. That works pretty good. All right, strawberries, the bridge. I'm trying to, like, memorize what everything does. Opinions are like the assholes. We all have them correct. Love licorice, but it's like Jerry Garcia said. Most people don't like licorice, but those who do really like it. All right, that's good. I'm not particularly a fan, but I'm glad people like what they like. I mean, I hate Ocarina of Time. I like Deadly Towers. I have some questionable video game choices, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. There's some people that like Bubsy 3D. All right, so you can't go. That's a very short jump right there. All right, so progress is happening. I can't believe I'm still alive, by the way. There are two video game characters who event the... Uh, Adams and Gordon. Uh, why do we always bring up Gordon Shumway? I hate that character, but he's better than Pugsley. He, yeah, they vehemently hate je jelly beans. Do they really? Or did you just make that up? Alabama Jelly Bean Enforcement Divisions enter the chat. Yeah, I'm sure they'll find something else to waste money on at some point or another. I pay taxes in the state of Alabama, and what do they do? They raid bingo halls because all the people were betting pennies or something. There's another jewel up there. Do we want that? I guess we could try and get it. Do I really need it? I don't know if you need all this crap or not. I have no idea. I just want to keep exploring for right now. We can come back and get stuff later. I'd rather explore. Red licorice. I've never tried licorice. It's very love-hate, kind of like cilantro. Yes, yeah, cilantro is another one of those kind of things that uh, people either absolutely despise or they absolutely love. It, it's fun hearing opinions on the stuff, though. I don't know if I should have gone down here or not. I think I may have made a mistake. Where's my friend? My friend's nowhere near me. Oh, great. Get over here! Oh my god, I'm in trouble. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. My friend's gone. Where is he? Lost to time. Strawberry. No, I can't. Jelly beans aren't going to help here. This is this is a lost call. Cinnamon, apple. I can't feed him anything. Vanilla, tangerine, root beer, honey, ketchup. Well, like, none of this, any, he won't even eat the ketchup ones. Like, what's the purpose? Oh. Ketchup. He catches up. Well, now I know what it is. <laughs> ketchup. Oh, cl really clever game. Real clever. I get it. I get it. All right. Well, at least now we know what it does. That's actually kind of clever. <laughs> That's actually pretty clever. I like that. All right, now let's get out of here before this thing kills me. 
All right, we could go up and to the left back. There. Yeah, we can go up that hole right there, or we could... Why are you down there again? I thought you climbed up the ladder. How did you get stuck? All right, well, we can unstuck you with one of these. All right, good catch. He backed up. Natural receiver, just like Jerry Rice. Finally got it. Well, I didn't know. Gee, what do you want me to do? Watch a video before I play and spoil everything? Is that what you want? I wonder if the, all this is in the manual. I like, skimmed over the manual real quick. I don't remember. It might be in there. That was before I played that Mario hack. Oh my god, I don't know where to go here. The only way to go now is back up. Tangerine, get over here. Move over. There you go. All right, let's try Tangerine here. Okay, there is nothing up here. All right, so that was a waste of time. I think this is a great game. Never played it, but I've watched it many times. I love how clever it is. I'm kind of digging this, Nikki. I, I'm starting to like this quite a bit. <laughs> I, I know a lot of people are saying they don't like this game, but like, I'm enjoying. He frowns if you don't throw it in his mouth. That's my fault, by the way. It's not his fault. This dumb kid didn't throw it over there far enough. Is your blob's name John Stockton? No, let's not insult the blob. This blob is actually helping me. How did you fall down there? You were a bridge! You were supposed to reform on the left side, not over on the right, idiot! Wow! <laughs> what the hell is he doing? <laughs> I was on the left side! Well, he just made a bl he just goofed up. He needs to be- I need to let him know he screwed up. Uh, back to- good lord, this freaking, uh... This trampoline's really useful. It's getting me all kinds of places. All right. All right, we're... Okay, I'm gonna have to feed him the uh, honey thing again. All right, you can use ketchup or you can use honey, it seems like, to catch him up. But honey seems like a better choice because we only have like eight of those ketchup beans or whatever. Screen train just seemed to reset blob to where he was before he's doing something interesting. The screen transitions I just need to get more used to. Probably my fault he's in the wrong spot. Chef Gamer, what's up? Cheap random game. This game's actually better than a lot of stuff I played, believe it or not. I'm kind of like digging it now that I'm starting to like learn how it all fits together. It makes sense. Like right when you start, you don't have a clue. You don't like know what's going to happen. But okay, so for some reason it let me climb there, but it wouldn't let me climb on the other side. I don't know. All right, let's try it again right here. Trash Cat, welcome in. How you doing today? This game better than Trails games? Uh, well, I like Trails games, but this isn't terrible. I mean, this is like a billion times better than a lot of stuff I've played, like Swamp Thing and like, uh, what, what's other garbage I've had to put up with? Pugsley Scavenger Hunt, that was the epitome of garbage. Uh, Beetlejuice, that was horrendous. Yeah, there's a lot of garbage i played. Alright, so this is, what is this gonna be? Jelly Beans, okay. More jelly beans, right? Okay, so that added... Oh, there's different jelly beans in here now. There's an orange one and a lime one? Did I see lime? Lime, okay. All right. Well, no troll. Have you played the PC version of Maniac Mansion? Yeah, I have it, but I've never beaten it before. I had it back on... It was a DOS version or something. But I've also got the NES version. I never beat that either. So we could play Maniac Mansion sometime. I made it a long way, but I got stuck somewhere along the way. I don't remember where I got stuck. Holy Diver. I've got a physical copy of Holy Diver. That's one of my favorite games. That game might be too hard for you, though, now. If I know you, you said you didn't like it. You were like, oh, this is not a good game. I'd rather play Bart Space Mutants. I bet I happen to love Holy Diver. All right, so now what? Uh, Angerine, so we can jump out of the hole. TV Prime, welcome in. How's it going today? Gradius is better than this by far. It's not even close, man. This is so much better than Gradius. I was lurking for Mario 2, but too sleepy to hit the keyboard. No problem. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you. Mario 2 ROM hack was great. So you can't go up here. All right. Wait, this is like back near the surface. This is like back in that parking garage, but I can't get out. Is this like a... 
Oh, there was another manhole. Like to like I went down the sewers and there was like a manhole over there left near where the boy's house was. So they want me to use the Applejack here because that's the only thing I can think of that we haven't used yet that might work. Let's see if this works. What if this actually happens? Dude, this is freaking cool. I like this game. <laughs> this is freaking cool. I, I like this. This is fun. Now I can get out of here. I almost didn't get out of here. Dude, I almost fell to my death. That would have been fun. Dude, get out of there, man. All right, he's out. All right, now I gotta get the blob out too. All right, where's the honey one? Get the bird in. This bird has been pretty useful. Nightmare Circus, I've never played that before. What's that like? There's another, there's a game called Circus Charlie as well that people will play. I don't know anything about that either. All right, I don't know how to, okay, catch up. I don't see, there doesn't, doesn't seem to be another way to do it. All right, we have 11, oh, we've got more, oh, we've got 11 catch ups now. Okay, so that's way better. Okay, good. All right, don't go back down there. All right, I've got treasures and stuff now. All right, let's see what those other jelly beans did that I picked up. Lime. There's like lime and orange or something. All right, orange. Are you down here? What are you doing down here? What, are you not able to climb up the stairs? Or what are you, Simon Belmont? Get up the stairs. Oh, he's stuck. Email delete. Welcome in. How's it going today? He went down there and now he's stuck. He's sad. Well, I'd be sad too if I couldn't climb five sets of stairs. I guess I'll have to waste another ketchup to get him up here. Simon Blobmont, clearly. What's up, Pigeon Fish? Welcome in. He's just sitting there pouting. I don't know how to climb the stairs. I'm like toad. Stupid and useless. All right, let's try orange. Orange is Vita Blaster. Oh, wait, now it's like Contra? Okay, how do you make this thing do something? All right, you press A, it falls down. B doesn't do anything. I think I've got a gun now. It's like a traffic cone. I don't know. You still want to play Pugsley on hard? No, I've never want to touch that game again. Dude, that's no feat. Don't make fun. How did he get down there? Your treasures allowed you to buy assortment 5, vitamin A, B, and C. 400, 100, 750. Okay, how do I use that? Health foods. It's a Vita Blaster. Can I shoot vitamins now? Let me put the gun back on. Hold up. I don't know how to select it. Oh, here we go. Oh, you press select. Okay. But it still doesn't do anything. Select, select, no. I don't know how to make it fire. Because I'm assuming we have actually have a weapon now. Oh, you're going to need this weapon on the other world. It just clicked. You're going to need this on the other world. Okay, so what you do is you go through the cave. You get treasures. You buy weapons or whatever here. And then you go to the other world and you can kill, like, the stuff bouncing around and things. All right, so I'm assuming that's the way it's going to work. But what does that other thingamajig do? We have another... Lime! What does that do? We only have two of those? Uh-oh. That's not good. All right, let's see what it is. Okay, there's the key. See, I when I was a friend of mine was streaming this like a year ago, I remember him using the key in, like, a door in a cave. That's the only thing I remember seeing. So there's a place to use this. I just don't know where it is. It's clearly not there. All right, we should be able to go to the other, wor other world now. I, I don't remember what did that. It wasn't ketchup, punch, no licorice, no strawberry, no cola, cinnamon, apple, lime. I don't remember how to do it. This is root beer! All right, switch back to root beer. It's not coconut. I know that much. By the way, I haven't found the use for coconut yet. You can, like, roll them into, like, a bowling ball or something. All right, here we go. I have a gun now, but it doesn't work. Maybe I don't know how to... Maybe you have to hit both buttons at the same time. I don't know how to control it yet. But I'm assuming you can use it to blow up enemies now in this world. So, see, and... Uh, 
how much progress is this? What's everyone's favorite root beer? A and W. I like Bart's Nikki because there's a place I used to eat at growing up that served Bart's root beer and it was really good. What's that on the screen? Those are some jewels or something. The hell was that? I saw jewels. No! What are you doing? Is that? Oh my God! That's, I did. I didn't know it would fly back. All right, well, <laughs> I remember liking Bark's root beer back in the day. It's the best. It has that sweet, sweet caffeine. I remember there was some place where you could like fix your own fountain drinks back in the day, and bar like you know, it had like a line of drinks, and you stick your cup up to it, and it sprays the drink in there. That's where I remember getting Bark's root beer back in the day. It was so good. We're home? No, we're not going home. We're going back. Yeah, that cheese, good, uh, good emote right there with the rocket. Barks has bite, it really does. It's, it's pretty sweet. I'd suck at this game. Miss puns all the time. Isn't his, isn't this game big on those? Yes, yes. Ketchup, jelly bean. It actually catches the blob up, and like, uh, punch punches a hole through the floor. So yeah, there's some clever touches to it. All right, I want to try, there was like jewels or something on the screen here. I want to see if I can grab that. Not that I know what it is, but I just wanted to explore. A beta root beer is great, but it's a Louisiana thing. I've never even heard of that, Death Merc. You back home, you win, apparently. Oh, we're getting these. All right, we're getting like these diamonds or something. I don't know what they are. Is there anything else up here? I got, they're in my inventory now. All right, you can't bounce any higher than that. All right, it's only one screen. Pretty good Bart's Popsicles a long time ago. Ooh, Popsicles, that sounds good. That's another thing I haven't had in like, freaking years of Popsicles. <gasps> okay, all right. Uh, I have my orange gun now, but I don't know how to make it fire. Let's see if we can do something with it. Looks like peppermint candies, okay, it might be that. It could be. I still don't know how to make this thing work. <gasps> oh, it's working now. It doesn't kill them, it just resets their position. What's the point of that? I thought that would kill them. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Situation no better. Jingle Bell, welcome in. Okay, that's kind of what it looks like. That that uh that little peppermint right there. I guess we could go with that. We'll call them peppermints. Why not? Jingle Bell, welcome in. Retro Bobo, welcome in. What, did I call them weird diamonds? I was close. I was clearly close. Are they actually peppermints? I was saying they were diamonds or jewels or something. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so my weapon is absolutely useless. It's not helping. In fact, it's making turning this into an absolute mess. Now I can't get through it at all. Oh wait, if you line it up better though. I was doing better with no weapon. <laughs> Skippy McButterpants, welcome in. I cycle, welcome in. I'm trying to figure out how to make this happen. Okay, what are the other one? Oh, this oh it fires at a different angle. Okay, I see. It's a completely different angle. Alright, what does B do? set when you leave the screen. It was a great IP. Someone needs to do great things with this concept. Someone said there was a remake. Someone said there was a remake of this. I can't hit the one I want to actually hit. It's not letting me. Alright, maybe we can hit it with this one. Vitamin C, the remake is pretty decent. I kind of want to try it now. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to make it. I'm not fast enough. That's game over. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is game over. <sighs> oh, my God. All right. Well, you know what? I know exactly what to do now. I know exactly what to do. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through the underground again, and except I'm going to get through the underground now and, like, 
a few minutes because I know like it's like a windy path or something. Made a ton of progress. Dude, the progress on that run was great. I feel like we can make it a lot more progress now that I know how everything works. Th this is a game about learning. You, you don't learn anything in this game, you're not going to go anywhere. That was a good run. I was happy with that. Compared to like the first time I played it, now I, I have a starting point. Alright, like one of these screens you could drop down safely on. I was like over here or something. Let's try it. The music's good too. I like the music. Was that your first attempt today? I ran out of lives like like really early on, Nikki, because I was dropping down with this item and I kept dying. So I w I'm not sure if I would actually count that as like a real run, but like now I feel like things are going to happen. Now we're actually going to get somewhere. I want to try... This is There's another item I haven't used yet. Let's try vanilla, the, the, this one. I kind of want to see if this does something. It, maybe this is like a safe fall or something. I have found no use for the umbrella. That's a safe fall. Okay, so you can use that or the cola to drop down. All right. Well, now I just put together what something else does. So once again, more progress, more learning. This is a cool game. I'm actually really liking this. <laughs> I know a lot of people are like, this game's awful and stuff. I'm finding it fun. Fox, welcome in. How you doing today? Hope you're having a great day. I, I'm actually really enjoying this game. <laughs> I know some people are probably at, like thinking I'm out of my mind right now. This is cool. This is trial and error. There's learning to be done. There's things you figure out. I don't see anything wrong. You don't get many lives, though. And there's no continues. You're dead. You're dead permanently. You're starting over. But I know what I'm doing now, so there's going to be progress. I think this run is gold. It could be. We'll see. I wonder how far away I am from beating it. I don't know how long this game is. I have no idea. I just remember from watching my friend play at the Renaissance a long time ago. He used a key in a cave somewhere, and that's all I remember. This was maybe a year and a half ago or something. Maybe that was the end of the game. I don't remember, like I said. As a kid, I had no idea what to do with not for Nintendo Power. I'm, like, experimenting like crazy on everything, trying to figure out, like, exactly, like, what everything does here. And so far, so good. The experimentation is kind of paying off. I had to do this with a lot of, like, Metal Gear and stuff. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I wasn't sure. There was a lot more momentum on that than I thought there was going to be. How am I floating? Okay, I think the game just glitched or something. That was really weird. I was floating. <laughs> Don't ask me what was going on there. I was doing some kind of weird floating. All right. Uh, hole punch. Hope you're having a good day, Fox. Always good to see you. I'm glad Mixer likes this. I'm having fun now. I like this. I feel like we can make a lot more progress on this run. But I, this is pretty fascinating, actually. All right, was there uh, water right below me here? No, I can actually survive this. Uh-huh, yeah, see? Some Wily e. Coyote shit. <laughs> I, I miss Wily e. Coyote and the Road Runner and all those cartoons growing up. They were good. I bet they don't show those for kids anymore because they would deem them too violent or something pathetic like that. Now they got kids watching stupid crap. Like, I turned the Cartoon Network on the other day to see what was on. It's like some show called Apple and Onion. It was like a talking apple and a talking onion were having an argument or something. It was embarrassing looking. Is that the kind of stuff kids are watching today? Because, I mean, if you showed me that when I was, like, nine years old, I was like, get this crap off the TV and get Ninja Turtles or Batman on or Wheel Warriors or just something, anything but this garbage they're showing today. Why is my blob sad? Because I threw jelly bean on the floor by accident. Things are going pretty good, Fox. We beat our Mario 2 ROM hack. That was a lot of fun. It was pretty trolly in a lot of ways, but it was also a lot of fun, too. So I got no complaints about it. All right, here we can drop down in the water. It's Cola does all kinds of neat stuff. Sounds unentertaining and stupid. I, I'm, I feel bad for kids today, honestly. And they don't want any video games besides Roblox. Instead of buying a new video game, they want more Robux, which is the currency in Roblox. Don't ask. I don't know what it is. I don't want to know what it is, basically. DJ, welcome in. Not sure if I was here earlier, so I'm saying hi again. Well, welcome back. Good to have you here. Those Looney Tunes cartoons still an amazing day. I can put them on right now and be endlessly entertained. Watching Bugs and Daffy and the Coyote 
and uh, Elmer Fudd and Yosemite Sam and all the boys. I, I loved it. It was great. It was a good time to grow up. I bet they, they they don't show that anymore. Do you have a favorite NES game? I think Zelda 2, Eater of Worlds. Looney Tunes always holds up. It's timeless. It's Looney T they're just absolutely timeless. Imagine if this game sold really well and we had a cartoon series and Toys Face on it. In an alternate universe, we probably did. We probably did at some point, Kremit. That's sad, too, because this game, I feel like this game didn't get enough didn't get enough credit. <laughs> By the way, I'm not going to try and get the treasure down there inside the spikes. I think that's suicidal. But I think if I had to pick one favorite NES game, I think it would definitely be Zelda 2. What's well, scary is 20 years from now, people will say how great Apple and Onion Show was and how cartoons have gone downhill. Deathmark, I hope that does not happen. But knowing the way people are, it probably will. They'll be like, man, I miss Apple and Onion. I had it good. And I'm going to be like, no, you did not have it good. I was watching Batman the Animated Series, and you were watching Apple and Onion. You thought you had it good? No. And then there's like some other stupid show. I saw like the Marvelous Adventures of Gumball the Cat or something. That was even worse. So yeah, there's just nothing but garbage on TV now. Like I said, I feel sorry for kids. I have to watch that while well, I was watching freaking Voltron. Royal, what's up, man? Welcome in. How you doing today? Checks robot blocks off the mixer bingo. God damn it. <laughs> you know, that almost happened last time, and I forgot that was there. So, yeah, that that's a thing. You got to remember where enemies are. It won't get me if I'm over here, will it? No. Okay, see, There's, there was a way to avoid that. I just forgot there was a worm there. See, I haven't played this game enough. I don't know where everything is. Live Batman animated series. Hard, Hard Axe is my favorite episode. I hope they make a movie about it. There were so many episodes of that that were like movie quality. And they had like Mask of the Phantasm, which was such a good movie as well. I didn't really get that movie as much when I was younger. There wasn't a whole lot of action in it. And I was too young to appreciate it. But then I watched it when I was older and I was like, man, that was freaking awesome. <laughs> It, it was amazing. How's it going? Link is going good. We're making some progress here with a boy in his blob. This is not a simple game to figure out. But once you start, like, getting some basics down, this game really starts turning around as far as, like, fun factor. All right, this is going to be extra jelly beans. I don't know if there's anything else here I need in this particular... Sp I actually, I think I do know. I think we need to bounce all the way up to the roof. Back to the Phantasm movie, it's great. So the VHS. I need to buy it. I, li I wouldn't mind having it on VHS. I like Gumballs way better than Teen Titans Go. See, I remember watching original Teen Titans when it wasn't just, like, kiddie stuff. The original Teen Titans was actually fun and serious and had some dark stuff to it. Can't have that anymore! I, I guess we can't have that. Some kid might get scared that Raven uses, like, evil magic powers or something. I don't know. I have no idea. All right, I don't want the blob right there. All right, that's where I want him. Perfect. This game is charming. I'm really digging this. I'm glad I decided to play it. I've been wanting to try this one for a while. Never seen this game? Yeah. In this game, you're some kid, and you're trying, and your your companion, your friend here is some alien blob. I don't know. And uh, you're trying to find treasure underground, and you have all these different things you can turn the blob into by feeding him jelly beans. And I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Nothing good, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Fever Dreams, welcome in. New episodes of X-Men 97 are coming out soon. Uh, original animation and voices. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that. That should be good. What is this kid doing, man? Teen Titans Go. It's childish. It's it's kitty. It's kitty stuff. What's up, Fever? Welcome in. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that X-Men continuation. That was a good series. I remember watching that. My friends back in the day, back in like 95 or whatever... His name, and I'm not even joking, is Blobbert. I've seen, I've heard worse names. Blobbert will work. Out of work, can't have Mixer anymore because kids might get scared that he's raging in a video game. Well, at least my stream's for 18 and older, right? You can't have some 10-year-old kid come in my stream and be like, This guy's mean. I don't like him. I'm going to go back to Roblox. And I'm going to be like, yeah, that's where you should be. You should be playing Roblox. You don't need to be in my streams, that's for sure. I can't position him correctly. So I got up here earlier, and I don't remember how I did it. Try it from here. Blobber like Alpha? No, not anywhere close. Good Lord. Teen Titans? No, that's what I'm talking about. The original Teen Titans was good, though. 
Well, I'm going to be rich and you're going to help me or do exactly what I say when we're all said and done. I have treasures. You'll be proud to know you've acquired me these jewels. Yeah, this blob probably doesn't even know what any of this stuff is. More like we're getting treasures and then we're spending them on vitamins on top of that. This is not going too well. I'm trying to line this up better and it's not working. All right, so, okay, 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 hold it, hold up. I, I have an idea here. I'm scared to move. Gravity Falls is the newest cartoon that my kids like, and I enjoy watching it with them. Really? I couldn't, like, imagine watching, like, a cartoon today after what little I, what I've seen off them. <laughs> They're kind of embarrassing looking compared to growing up with all the 80s and 90s classics. All right, I'm trying to put the blob where I want him. You know what, I can't get him in the right spot. Maybe I can do it with a ketchup? Let's try that. This might be an idea. That didn't work. Okay. Try it again. That went even worse. Okay. <laughs> this is not going well. All right, let's try right here. Boy, how would you speed run this game? You'd have to have like every position memorized perfectly. Let's try it. Mixer's a naughty boy. I am. It's a stream for 18 and up only. I don't want people seeing me seeing this kind of crap. I can't get them in the right spot, dude. Is that gonna work? Let's try this. <laughs> Maybe this will work. I don't know. I've had a horrible time trying to get them up there. Tired of seeing 3D massive, but yeah, th 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 3D. There, there's the there, there it is, Nikki. 3D. Was he a blob of exactly? V8 tracks. Welcome in. I don't know. That's a good question. I have no idea. What is he a blob made out of? Good job, kid. Stupid boy. Ugh, I can't get up there! <laughs> I, can't, I cannot get up there! Maybe there's a better way to get up there than here, because I made it up there like one time last time, now I have no idea how to do it again. We can't get back up there, so it's a one-way trip. Uh-oh. <laughs> I thought I had an idea here. All right, you don't want to do that. I don't know of any other way to get up there. All right, let's try it again. I'm gonna run out of lives. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of lives! Blob of ranch dressing, it kinda looks like it. 3D is too many D, that's way too many. If real life was in 2D, it'd be better anyway. Speed run is check out this glitch, usually it is. That's why I don't speed run. I've only done like one speed run on stream, it was Jump King, which is not even a retro game. I'm not gonna make this. There's no way I'm gonna make this. I'll try. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I didn't think there was any shot. Alright. Well, I got up here. I'm down some lives, though. That's unfortunate. It's because of like Linus from Linus Tech Tips. I've never seen that before. Oh, I forgot to change them back. My bad. If you're on a phone, I understand not being able to type. I can't type on phones. Kids are like typing like 2,000 words a minute on their phones. And I'm like hitting buttons like this on my phone. I'm like, I, I don't know how to do this. Like people always want to text you on your phone. I, I hate doing that. Just Why not just call me? I don't want you to text me. Just call me. I, I hate texting. It's just a pain. Why are you falling through the floor? Does anybody else feel that way? Makes your text like a boomer? I do. I don't like texting on a freaking phone. I can't. It takes me forever. I can type normally, but you can't type normally on a phone. Every sentence ends with dot, 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 pretty much. The phone buttons are too small. They're horribly small. Give the blob some laxatives? Why not? Laxatives. What do you want to give them? My numb and the opposite here. I take talking to people. Send me a text. I, I don't want to do a text. <laughs> I hate text. I know this is the era of loving texting. I get it, but I'm not a fan. I am not a fan whatsoever. I'm having so many problems with this ladder. I right, get over here. What is this? A ladder from Russian attack? That was even worse. I'm an introvert, and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Text simple doesn't stop everything I'm doing right then. It's way easier for me. I just wish it was like the buttons were bigger. If I could type on like a regular keyboard, I would like it a lot more. But you can't do that. You have to type on these itty bitty things. You know what? I, I'm better at controlling this than I am at typing on a cell phone. I can control this game with my thumbs better than I could 
type words out on a cell phone. I didn't even want to get one. I was forced to. I type super fast on my phone. It's undecipherable. Then I gotta race it all and try again. And then see, yeah, it's awful. It's horrible. Need a pocket keyboard for your phone? I do. I, and then all the, but if I get that jingle bell, all the kids will make fun of me. Then, then what? The, you'll have teenagers going, look at this idiot using a freaking keyboard. <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, shut the hell up and eat your goddamn chipotle. I don't want to hear it. That's how that conversation would more than likely go. Eat your goddamn Chipotle and shut your mouth. Lobs, welcome in. My family forced the phone on me and I read on it all the time. Yeah, it sounds like me with Facebook. My uncle and other people were like, you on Facebook yet, boy? I'm like, well, not really. He's like, you ought to see the size of the deer I shot. And I was like, you think I actually care? He's like, man, I shot him. He was big. And I was like, I don't care. <laughs> It's, it's ridiculous. Everything's ridiculous. I, I miss the old days. Let's go back to the 80s and 90s. I don't have to put up with any of this garbage. Get a mechanical keyboard for your phone, then dunk on kids for not having cool tech. I should. I have, You know what? And then they'll want to go out and buy it. But since they don't have any money, they won't be able to. And they'll feel bad, and I'll feel better. So, yeah, I'm going to do that next time. It sounds like fun. What kind of gun did the deer have? That's what I should have asked. I've said that before, Pigeon. My, my uncle will brag about shooting a deer, and I'm and I'm like, hey, how much life was how how much in danger were you? Like, was your life in danger when you killed that deer? And the lady doesn't respond, and I was like, oh, I guess not. You're that's right. You're hiding in a tree stand. That's right. I forgot. My bad. You were hiding in a tree stand, sniping a deer. Wow, that sounds so entertaining. I told you to be a bridge. I didn't tell you to be a brick. Be a bridge. You're supposed to be over here. Maybe it wasn't close enough. All right. He turned into like a panel or something. South Park Facebook episode is gold. Facebook gets made fun of a lot for a lot of reasons. Especially like, like older people use it for like politics and all this crap now. Like it's all about politics. That's why I don't like social media. Like, it's getting mad at politics. All right, yeah, go get mad at something you can't control. Good job. You go do that. I'll be playing A Boy in His Blob or Zelda 2 or something like that while you yell at a politician that's like a thousand miles away. You go do that. I'll be doing this. I'll be having some fun. All right, we're going to have to use ketchup to get him back. All right, I can go... What, what am I doing? Why am I phasing through the floor? Is this game glitching? What is going on? All right, now we're fine. I don't know what was happening there. I almost had a bit of a panic attack. All right, uh, <laughs> I was like, am I gonna be soft locked in the wall now? All right, we have orange, where's ketchup? We gotta get him back to me. This game is fascinating, by the way. I really like it. Back when Gmail was invite only, we need to go back to everything invite only. Vote for Pugsley. All right, why not? Why the hell not? I remember Facebook in 2000 was all college kids and hot memes and it was great. Now it's all adults and politics. Oh, I didn't get to buy hardly anything. Look, they didn't let me buy anything because I didn't bring much money. Maybe we won't need anything. It's not like that shit was helping me. Alright, let's get on the rocket and go back to the blob planet or whatever. That's root beer. Reminds me of a hunting game where you play as a deer and shoot hunters. I need to show that to my uncle. He'll be like, this is not funny. I'll be like, yeah, it is. Why is it not? Did he eat the deer? I'm okay with hunting if it's for food. No, Pigeon. He does it for trophies. He does it for the wrong reason. That's like me going outside and stepping on an ant and, like, picking up the ant and, like, mounting it on a piece of paper and being like, look what I did. Boy, am I strong. <laughs> no, he doesn't eat it. He wants trophies. Put the head of an animal that can't do anything. And I'm like, you know what? You call yourself a hunter? Why don't you take a Bowie knife and a bow and arrow out to the African plains and you bag a lion and I'll call you a hunter. And you know what? He doesn't like really talk to me much anymore because that's the kind of, that's what I tell him. So yeah, so like he doesn't talk to me anymore. And I'm like, yeah, mission accomplished. <laughs> like I troll him hard enough. He just, I'm going to make him feel so bad. He's just not going to like even want to bring it up anymore. And that's like the, one of the reasons I got on Facebook anyway, was because my family was bugging me about it. And, well, 
I guess they won't be bugging me anymore. Definitely remind me of Howard from Big Bang Theory. I've never watched Big Bang Theory. Somebody told me I'd look like Sheldon or somebody at some point, too. That's from Big Bang. I've never watched it. Like, I've got some real-life friends that are, like, really big into Big Bang Theory, and I watched, like, one episode with them, like, ten years ago. And I was like, and they were like, isn't this, like, the funniest show? And I'm like, no. I'm like, get this crap off the TV and put Star Trek Next Generation on or something. And they were like, yeah, but Will Wheaton from Star Trek Next Generation is actually in it. And I'm like, well, I don't care. Well, this is not the right show. I don't care. Moving right along. This looks horrible, by the way. How are we going to deal with this? <laughs> this looks, like, ridiculous. I think it'd be cool to have Hunter Heads displayed. I'm with you, Nikki. You can get take my uncle for the first one. He deserves it. Tim and Eric, I watched that one time, Neff. It was awful. Tim and Eric's awesome show, Great Job, with a name like that, that's just pure stupidity. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't watch a show with a name like that. Okay, I did this last time and it worked, and it, it will happen again. Okay. <laughs> I've been probably doing this the wrong way. I don't care. I don't know any other way to do this. All right, we're going to, like, edge forward here. I don't like this gun. It doesn't kill them permanently. They just respawn. Oh, for God's sake. There's not a safe spot here. Lawrence Welk is far superior to all modern TV. Modern TV is awful. Tom goes to the mayor. More garbage. Big Bang Theory is blackface for nerd culture. You think so? I don't I haven't watched it enough to know. Great job from Tim and Eric. I don't know, man. It's pure stupidity is actually kind of great. All right. I didn't give it a chance. Like, the, the, the names of stuff turns me off. That's like me calling my stream the the Mixer Retro Show Incredible Job. Nobody would watch that, please. <laughs> That's why I didn't watch the whatever. I, I don't know what to do! <laughs> Maybe you're supposed to kill these before they hit the ground? I don't know. Oh, you can. Now it's like I'm playing freaking Contra. Is this what you're supposed to This looks like maybe what you're supposed to do here. Oh my god. Maybe if they hit the ground, they blow up. That's what killed me last time, I'm assuming. This is the screen I died on. And I didn't blow up this time, so apparently things are happening. Tim and Eric made me laugh. You're going through a hard time. Just need nonsense. That show's great as well as the Mighty Boosh. Never seen that either. I've heard of it, though. Want to watch this Mixer show? No, you don't. No, we're live now. You're seeing the Mixer show. Oh, we're the corn on the cob. All right, I'll take some. We got corn on the cob here. We got popcorn. Okay. Okay. I'm shooting popcorn with vitamins. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Is it, is it gonna respawn? What the hell? Yeah! Dude, that was a freaking jump scare. I can't believe I didn't die there. <laughs> that scared the living hell out of me. We're good, though. All right, we look like we're safe here. Man, this is really scary. What is going on? Grunt, is Ren in this? Ren did play this, and I saw that, like, he used a key for something. That's all I saw of the gameplay. I saw him actually, like, maybe it was the end of the game. I have no idea. Or maybe I've already gone past that point. I have no idea. Don't drop the gun. I can't go back. Oh, can I shoot these? Okay. It's not letting me go back. Okay, I don't know what to do. Can I get that? I have no idea what to do. <laughs> this is a scary situation. Am I supposed to go up, maybe? Okay, I got another one of those peppermint thingamajigs. I don't know what they're good for, though. I'm 
monsters to kill all these things? I don't know what that did. Did that give me an extra life? Maybe it did. It's a great show. I'm glad you like it, Nikki. It's got a decent name. <laughs> it doesn't have a name like Tim and Eric show stupid job or whatever. Mixer's lost his mind just randomly shooting marshmallows. I don't know what to do! You can't go to the right! There's like an invisible wall right here. <laughs> like there's peppermint patties falling. Peppermint patty, that's in uh, peanuts. <laughs> I like peppermint patty. She's a lot better than that other girl that's like mean as hell, Lucy. Girl's mean as hell. <laughs> Boys vlog could be a TV show, it could. It could. This this could have been this could have taken off, but apparently like nobody plays this game. Almost no one. Well, I don't know what to do here. You're supposed to shoot the machine. All right, swap to a different vitamin. Like occasionally like a peppermint comes out, but like I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> Oh, I did just ran out. It just randomly turned off. I didn't do anything. All right, well, that's good. Said something earlier about it that it could have been a cartoon show and toys. Yeah, it really could have been. What's happening? I don't know what's happening. Marshmallows or corn? Again? And I can't go any further, so we have to let them run out or kill a certain amount of them. I don't know. I can get that. I really don't know what's happening here. I have no idea. <laughs> this game is something else. I can tell you that much. All right, we're getting low on ammo, by the way. You kill enough of them. All right, I'll take those. It looks like if you pick up five of those, you get an extra life. So that's what those are for. Okay. Well, I don't know if there's a requirement to get so many here, though. There's another one. What's happening now? Uh, we're on a conveyor belt and marshmallows are coming down and it, we did this a second ago and it just randomly turned off and I got through it. I don't know if I did something, I shot something, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here at all. I wonder if I could like... No, that wouldn't... Jumping up here would just get me killed because they're falling down. I, I'm hoping it will just randomly turn off again, but I don't know. The music is like really intense. I'm getting lives, though, so, I mean, this is really good. It's kind of like that Mario hack we were doing earlier when I was farming some lives. That was awesome. Same thing's kind of happening here. I'm hoping something... I won. Maybe you have to kill enough of them. I don't know. Now it looks like Bart Space Mutants. Oh, God. This looks like Bart Space Mutants. Okay, we can go up. Or we could keep going right. <laughs> what are those teeth? I'm assuming that's probably gonna kill me in one hit. Kind of scary. Ah, run! All right, good. We're good. <laughs> Love how insane all this is. It is insane, dude. It truly is insane. Those Hershey's kisses. They just respawn forever. Or can I actually kill them? Heart jumped out of my chest. <laughs> okay, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> you can't go back. I'm blowing up the thing. What if you go down? You can't go down. 
I'm scared. Okay, they they will attack me. Looks like Hershey's Kisses to me. Could be turds. Kill a certain amount? I don't know what to do. I could try and ma I can't make a bridge over that, I'll die. There's no way I could get past that. What if it's like a boss fight or something and there's something down below? place I know it goes down. You can't go down here? What about over here? The teeth are gone. That's good. I don't know how to get past that. <laughs> There's clearly something I'm missing here. So you just turn it off. You just turn it off. You just turn it off. Oh. Well. <laughs> okay, well, there was a way to get past it. <laughs> That's actually amazing. All right, well, now I know for a future run. Now I know. Now I actually know. That's actually really cool. All right, so you're supposed to ex ex experiment like crazy on this stuff. Okay, don't fall down. I bet if I fall down there, I'd die. All right, now we can do a strawberry bridge and I won't die. See, I was gonna try and like drop down below, see if there was like something I could kill down there. And I was like kind of right. Okay, we could go up or we could just keep going right. I'll go up as a last resort maybe. <gasps> Holy crap. Okay, can we kill these? Let me try and kill these. I want to actually try and kill these. Isn't it neat use the little gray cells? It's really cool. I like this game. I'm trying to blow the teeth up with the gun. It's not working. All right, apparently you can't kill these. This does nothing. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope! All right, well, I guess I'll just have to try and get past them the, the normal way. The, the controls are a little slippery. It's not as easy as it looks. Ooh, that was close. All right, more teeth. I'm just brushing my teeth, I know, right? <laughs> I feel like I need to after seeing all that Hershey kisses and shit and stuff. Never played this game myself. Only watched speedruns of the game. So many of the areas you're entering, I have no idea what to do. Yeah, speedrunner probably just has like everything perfectly memorized, where you don't actually like, have to like do anything. Ooh, that was very close right there. I'm assuming these probably kill me. <laughs> I'm so nervous. All right, I do have the gun out in case we encounter gingerbread men. Okay. All right, so are they in the background or are they going to actually attack me? Dude, I'm... <laughs> I'm really scared to move forward here. What was the key? There's a keyhole there. Lime. That was the key, I believe. Oh! 
Oh, he's in a cage! I can't go back. I can get him out with ketchup. What is that? A giant marshmallow with a crown? Uh, ketchup. I can't go back. <laughs> no. Ketchup not working! It's, it doesn't do anything here! Okay, um... Uh, I can't even throw stuff to him from here. How did he get captured? I just I put him through the keyhole. He ends up in a cage like instantaneously. That thing is ugly as hell. I know, right? It's, it's Jabba the Hutt. I can't throw a jelly bean to him from here. Can I build up momentum? This is a problem. <laughs> and I, the worst part is I can't go backwards. Am I building up any speed? Oh my god, okay, you can throw him over there. I don't know how I did it, but I, that did not help. Okay. That did not help. Creeper, welcome in. Oh, I, I thought he was gonna be like, he was gonna be like rolling out of the cage or something because I was gonna make him smaller. All right, you, you gotta admit it was an idea, Creeper. Welcome in. <laughs> I thought Ketchup would work. I thought that would work. Oh, if I use Cola, I can, like, maybe I can break the cage. Okay, don't use cola. That killed him. Uh, I have no lives left, by the way. Uh, that was terrible. Hugging Munnin, welcome in. Uh, set, okay, turn him into a blowtorch. He'll melt the cage. Oh, I have to be in control of it. Alright, so I can't do anything with that. Apple, turn him into a jack. Oh, he'll bust the top of the cage off! And the evil king is defeated. I... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That was something. No lives left. We're being raided. Songbirder. What's up, Songbirder? Sigma Steve, welcome in. <laughs> Dude, I'm in disbelief. That was the end of the game. That was the ending. Like, the, it like dumped a thing of vitamins on him. <laughs> That's where it ends. You know how close that was? I was on my last life right there. That was my last life. I was... So and that's it. There's no loop, too. Songbirder, welcome in, man. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for the GG's, guys. Songbirder, what are you working on? What are we doing? We got a professional Faxanadu player here. Insane that you figured out the entire game on, like, four runs. That last run was crazy, Kremit, because I was on the verge of death from so many things. Like, th I was this close to dying so many times on run number two. It's a healthy game. Jelly beans are bad for you. They are. Yeah, see, David Crane made a good game here. Gary Kitchen d d had probably nothing to do with this. You died, would you have called it a day? No, I probably would have gone on another run. <laughs> Dude, that was amazing. Such a clutch win. Thank you for today's stream. That was fun. I like this game. I bet I could do a deathless run of this now that I know how it works. That'd be fun. Fact, Santa, do any percentage. The password percentage got a PB in the password percentage. Nice job, man. Nice job. Wonderful.